The Future of the Stock Market by Kevin Kerr. In this short video clip, it'll help you to understand what is the stock market and what is a stock. Advertise itself to big investors. If they think the company is a good idea, they get the first crack at investing and then sponsor the company's initial public offering, or IPO. This launches the company onto the official public market, where any company or individual who believes the business could be profitable might buy a stock. Buying stocks makes those investors partial owners in the business. Their investment helps the company to grow, and as it becomes more successful, more buyers may see potential. The main factor that drives stock prices is investor demand. Stock prices rise when buy orders outnumber the sell orders, and prices decline when sell orders outnumber buy orders. We do know a few things about forces that move stocks up or down. These forces fall into categories, fundamental factors, technical factors, and market sediment. These help you pick whether the stock will go up or down. The History of the Stock Market Though the stock market was opened in 1972, the S&P 500 is a great indicator of the history of the stock market, as it compiles all the top companies. Here is a chart to help you understand how the events affect trends, and the history of the dips and gains. Now, I'm going to show you charts from major funds in the stock market that can help you understand about how the stock market moves. And I'm going to be doing it to some interesting music. The current state of the stock market has a huge bull market for the COVID years, as the stock market has seen good growth currently. I think it is high, and a small dip will happen, and many experts predict the same. But this is future. People are saving more money than ever, and that should lead to more stock growth. But in the future again, as things reopen, people should spend their money, and stocks will go down again. But right now, stocks looking great. People will move from higher volatility stocks to recovery stocks as the economy begins to recover from the COVID pandemic. But for right now, a quote that overall summarizes this from an article on RussellInvestments.com says, The early post-recession recovery phase of the cycle, this implies an extended period of low inflation, low interest growth that favors equities over bonds. This means we are steeping up. The current strengths of the stock market is low interest rates, low bond yield rates, and the availability of trading nowadays and how easy to trade. Also, COVID actually somewhat helped the market as well because people are staying inside and finding new hobbies and not spending their money as much. But as recently, the stock market gained lots of users and traction off the GameStop situation, and it was being publicized way more. Some of the weaknesses is that the Fed is unpredictable, and especially during an economic climate, you never know what the Fed could do. Another weakness could be negative catalysts that drive prices down, such as big-time investors pulling or a crash or a terrorism event, just unpredictable events. Experts predict that in 10 years, growth will slow and we will not be in this crazy bull market we are in right now. The stats show that a down decade is imminent and we will be entering a lost decade where we see no growth because according to the charts and stats, we are heading there. Many analysts believe the stock market is overvalued and at any moment they believe a crash is imminent. They believe we are in a bubble now and in 10 years the market will be down. A quote to back up these findings in an article written by Mark Hulbert on Market Watch says, Not to bury my lead too much, the stock market's prospects over the next decade are dismal. It would go against an overwhelming body of historical evidence for the stock market over the next decade were to perform at anywhere close to its long-term average. Meaning, if most people had to bet at the stock market, will be down in 10 years. Should you consider the stock market? Personally, I think you should. It is a good way to make progressive income. All right, I'm on call with Francis, and he's going to tell us why he recommends the stock market. All right, so uh, I recommend the stock market because as long as you do your research, use those analysis skills, you should be able to consistently make money um, keep up that practice, and it's a great hobby. I agree, friend. Thank you for that. Overall, though, the stock market is hard to predict, and there really is no accurate way to predict it, as there's so many factors that play into it. But 
as long as you just do what you feel like is good, you should always come out on top.